This is the side against the uterus. Yeah. Okay. So it is actually the right way. The way it's come up. And the side against the fold from the inside, which is of course nice and clean. Yeah. Now the placenta lines the entire uterus. So see how there's a uterus with two horns? Yeah. And I can see this placenta is very old and disintegrating. So this placenta would have petered out before too long. So it's good that that foal came when it did. Yeah. Now I've got no ragged membranes, which means the placenta is complete. That means there's nothing left in the mare. Yeah. And we want nothing left in the mare because that would lead to infection. Yeah. So this side, can you see how it's all gritty? Yeah. Because that is what connects to the walls of the uterus with tiny blood vessels and nourishes the foal. So the foal is sitting pretty on the inside. And then here's the umbilicus somewhere. No, it's not here. You can find it. Here we go, I think. There's an um umbilicus to this, where all those blood vessels converge here. See, all those tiny blood vessels get yeah. nourished with my miniature blood vessels, and it just goes into this great river and nourishes the foal with the umbilical cord. So the inside of the foal looks all pretty and clean and until quite recently that was sterile now you can also see how this placenta is literally broken because you know in humans the placenta sort of sits to the side of the uterus mm -hmm. okay and that's it now in the mare the placenta lines the entire uterus which means for the foal to be born it actually needs to break literally through the placenta. Mm. So that's all closed. And the trick of breaking it is it needs to be at a naturally thinner part because otherwise if you break it the wrong place, like here, you're breaking through major blood vessels wow. and the mere can hemorrhage before uh -huh. the foal is born. Right. So that's the story there. It's a massive placenta. Mm. Yeah. Does it folds very well. Integrated, <laughs> which is quite interesting. So you know, yeah, it's, it's very different the uterus, than the other part. And so, you know, this was definitely this bump was about to be overbaked because that's what we're looking for. And the reason I know all this is because I'm a midwife as well, <laughs> not just a horsey midwife, but a real. But yeah, so this is. Definitely, can you see how we've got no calcification, but it's definitely looking a bit more manky, you know? Yeah. But this is looking nice and fresh. It's not smelling. No, so that's good. So there's no infection. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I've see how these blood vessels. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good. Right. <laughs>